do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter circulation and in that we are studying topic blood coagulation now if you get injury in any part of your body your blood coagulates how does that mechanism function let's study today Whenever there's an injury to your body, there are a lot of clotting factors that are associated with it. And these clotting factors make sure that your injury is healed or covered properly. Now, this is the process of clotting, which is little tedious, but it's very crucial. In case of diseases like hemophilia, where clotting mechanism doesn't work, the person dies of hemorrhage. That's complete blood loss from the body. And the person is not given proper medical attention, hemorrhage could be very fatal. Your clotting factors are many. There's a cascade of clotting factors that are present, which include your blood platelets, prothrombinase, thrombin, fibrinogen, fibrin, and finally, the formation of clot or thrombin. Now, the process of clotting of blood at the site of injury, just to stop hemorrhage, that's blood loss from the damaged blood vessel, is termed as blood clotting. In hemophilic patients, in which hemoclotting factors are absent, this clotting mechanism doesn't work. And you, whenever there's a small cut or incision in your body, the clotting mechanism starts working or activate. Now, they include use of blood platelets, prothrombin, thrombin, fibrinogen, etc. Now, whenever there's an injured tissue present inside your body, prothrombin, plastin, or thromboplastin gets activated. Now, once thromboplastin is activated, Along with that, blood platelets are also associated or they get incurred or associated in that region. Now, blood platelets occur and they both associate and form both your prothrombin plastin and blood platelets form prothrombinase. This prothrombinase, what it does is, it gets dissociated into prothrombin and also into thrombin. Now, prothrombin does, is made up of vitamin K. And your thrombin, which is association of two different parts, which is fibrinogen, which is soluble, and fibrin, that's insoluble. It is the fibrin that finally does the clotting. The fibrin, which is insoluble, forms polymerization. It forms a thread-like substances of basic erythrocytes. And once that does, platelets and plasma come and do the clotting mechanism. Once the clot is formed, it is also termed as thrombin or thrombus. Now this thrombus or the clot is just a stick of connective tissue or an embody of connective tissue that rapidly stops the bleeding at that point and no loss or hemorrhage happens to you. Also provide the necessary cells for replenishment later on. So students, in this part of the chapter, we came across blood clotting mechanism, which is very crucial. And in hemophilia, bleeder's disease, which is very common in Queen Victoria's family, this mechanism doesn't work so imagine a people a person not having clotting factors a slight cut in their body would be fatal or life-threatening and i hope students today you all are clear about the mechanism of blood clotting and what is blood clotting i hope students you all are clear with this concept thank you